Okay, this is just a quick video to show you something that I thought was kind of interesting. In a previous video, I'd made a comment that uh, grid tie inverters would be pretty much worthless in a grid down situation. I recently found out that they'll actually assist an inverter. I've got my 2000 watt inverter here and <coughs> presently has a draw on it of 69 watts. That's being provided by a 75 watt incandescent. Now, what I've done is I've hooked up this grid tie inverter to this system and when I activate it, you can see now that a little light blinking but it's not putting any power in. But once I activate the grid tie inverter, come back over here, you'll see that the watts start, start to drop on this. It actually starts to compensate for the grid tie or for the uh, inverter. And I've done this with a smaller light, but I burned it out. It was a 45 or 40 watt incandescent, and the grid tie inverter will actually take the watt meter all the way down to zero. And at that point, the voltage start to come back up on this unit. I can show you that by turning off my grid tie inverter. You can see the wattage come back up to the 68, 69. Funny it's a 75 watt light bulb but it don't draw 75 watts. And what I'm going to do is turn on this fluorescent. And then unplug the incandescent. Two hands, man, two hands. Now you can see that the little fluorescent burning up here is pulling a whole 11 watts. So if I turn on my grid tie inverter it takes a watt meter back to zero. And the power builds back up on the battery bank. So I was just had just uh, put some thought to that and thought that that was kind of interesting and that you guys might get a kick out of it. Uh, I'll be putting some more videos out here in the future. Time to get my uh, solar panels and system back up and running. I've got to rebuild them. I found a design flaw in them when I built them. I should have never attached them to that picture frame glass. It was way too thin and way too fragile. Y'all take care. Rate this video and subscribe. Have a nice day.